Hey everyone, it's me, Canadensis, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire Wings Club collection. So first I'm going to start with all the ones on display because obviously that's the easiest to show you. And then I'm going to be showing you my extras. Um, not all of them are extras um, or doubles. Some of them are just ones that could not fit <laughs> on the display yet. I'm hoping to maybe put up some more shelves, but that will have to wait. So I thought I'd show you guys now because I've already made you wait like over a month and you guys have been begging and begging and begging. So yeah, j let's just get started. So I'm gonna start over here because this is a display section that I really, really love. So let me get in my chair. Um, so here we have uh, the top of this. So this is actually technically my bedside table. That's my bed. Um, so it's a little bit awkward, but I've over here it's great, but over here I kind of had to leave some space for, you know, like cups and phones and stuff. So I'm going to move over here. Sorry, there's such a motion blur. I wish that wasn't the case. Okay, so here we have my... I, I themed it after Secret of the Lost Kingdom because I just love that movie and I just got the DVD and I think it's gorgeous. So there's that beautiful cover art that I'm always talking about. And then here are my Super Fate Enchantix dolls. I have Bloom, Tecna, um, Stella, Flora... So what um, Aisha and Musa, and what I like about these is that I could kind of stack them because as you move, you can see more of them. And then here I have my bigger Super Fate Enchantix doll. I only have Flora so far, but I think she's a really, really cool doll. So yeah, she's up on display over there. I used Goliope Jellington from Monster High's stand, if you're wondering. Um, and then here are my China exclusive Magical Glamour dolls, Tecna and Musa. They're really, really pretty, and I wanted them on display because they're, they're really, really cool and special dolls, but I didn't really have a place for them because I don't have a witty, everyday section for their look. Uh, so I put them here, and I think it fits really well because they're literally shown in those outfits right here. Okay, moving over, we have my kind of the middle section, which is just kind of a celebration of how like unique and interesting Winx dolls are. Sadly, it is mostly Bloom and Flora, but that's just how the cookie crumbled with Winx releases. So right here we have um, Pink Enchantix Bloom by Jack Specific. Really, really cool doll. And then kind of in her theme, we have Halloween Musa right here by Witty Toys. Uh, right there is a My Little Pony named High Flyer. I just think she's really, really pretty and she has wings. <laughs> and I wanted her on display somewhere. Here's my um, season one ornament that I got. Um, in a recent video, I just really wanted it on display somewhere. Stella didn't really fit, and also she kept falling over because you have to hang her, so I'm going to display her inbox somewhere. I'm just not sure where yet. And then here is Ice Skating Flora. Flora? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ice Skating Roxy. Love this doll. Needed her on display somewhere, so I sat her down in front of my two um, prides and joys. Here's my Silver Bleavix Bloom and Talk Back Gold Bleavix Bloom by Witty. Let's see if she's turned on because she is special. Nope. Okay, she's she made a noise. I don't really... Oh, there it is. That's my friend Disney Descender saying, hey girl, and he sold her to me and I'm really, really grateful because I've been looking for this doll for a while and I think she's absolutely stunningly beautiful and I'm really, really thankful to have her in my collection. So she is front and center with Silver Believe Bloom, my all-time favorite Winx doll. She's gorgeous. I love her so, so much. Here is my China exclusive. I, I don't know if she's China exclusive. I'm sorry. Ugh. Here is my um, wedding bloom doll. I got her from Disney Descender as well. Here is uh, Jokey Preciosi uh, ball gown Stella. I also got her from Disney Descender and Kira Plus Nina Flora too. I bought them from him, but I think they're so, so pretty. So they go front and center here and they don't exactly fit anywhere else. But yeah, uh, this display is some of my favorite Winx dolls. Uh, Pink Enchantix Bloom is not one of my favorites, but I thought that she fit in well here and I wanted to put her somewhere. Um, okay, moving on over, we have Believix Power by Jax. Uh, these are some of my favorite Winx dolls as well, my favorite Winx line of all time. So we have Aisha, Tecna, and Stella in the back, and then here in the front we have Musa, Bloom, and Flora. And then down here I have the Mattel Pixies. So I have two from Pixie Magic and four from uh, Pixie Kisses. I have all but one of the pic I don't have Amore Pixie Kisses, but I do have Piff, but I like that uh, Pixie Magic Piff better, so she's there. And that's Pixie Ma Magic Amore as well. Digit is missing her helmet too, unfortunately. All right, over here we have Fairy School, uh, or Fairy College uh, from season six. And I have Aisha, Musa, Bloom, 
And in the back there, I have Flora, Tecna, and Stella. And you guys probably remember that I broke my uh, blooms, so that's why she is in the car. Because uh, you can't really tell that her legs are uh, off. And that is why Urban Style is up here, even though they go with the car. It's just because, like... I wanted to be able to display this line because I have the complete line and I think they're really, really cool. Sorry, getting my phone flashlight so you can see them better. All right, moving on. Um, upward, or actually I'm gonna go downward first. We have uh, the cubes. So I couldn't, I tried to display as many non-winged dolls as I could in these cubes. So sorry, I had to turn on the light. Here we have Love and Pet Bloom by Jax. I got her from China and is, was so, so excited. She's really, really cool. Um, these are stickers that I got from the dentist when I was like, gosh, I don't even know how old I was, like 13 or 14. Just thought that was really, or maybe it was a doctor, I actually don't remember. Uh, just thought that was really, really cool that I found those. Um, and then here is Everyday Musa in Bloom over here. And then over here we have Everyday Tecna and Stella. Ooh, they like reflect. <laughs> and then in the back we have Concert Flora Bloom, Concert Stage Bloom, and Everyday, or concert Aisha as well. And then at the bottom we have concert Tecna and Stella, and here's the appearance of it all together. Uh, I need to move Stella back over, but I like this display because it still has some room. Like, if I got concert Stella, please, I could fit her between the two, ooh, between the two blooms, and then if I got everyday Aisha and Flora, I could fit them here and there. Uh, Love and Pet Bloom would probably need to be moved, but yeah, I'm really, really hoping to complete these collections, but I think they all look great all next to each other like this. All right. All right, hopefully it's less shaky now because I put it on a chair. Here we have my season five slash like underwater themed area. It's a little bit crowded so far, but um, it's because I'm leaving space for some extras such as City Style Aisha will go here once I have her. Please, universe. Um, and then I, I could fit Beach Aisha here. I might need to do some shuffling to be able to fit her, but hopefully when she comes home, if, no, when I'm gonna find her, um, she will fit happily here with the others. So I have Flora, Stella, and Bloom. Flora is missing her sunglasses, sadly. Um, and then back here I have Magic Ocean Bloom by Witty Toys. She, uh, I love her so, so much, so I really wanted her on display somewhere, and she fit best here. Um, she actually doesn't look too out of place next to the Jack Pacific dolls here, which I really appreciate. <laughs> um, okay, moving up, we have City Style. So I have Aisha's blank space um stella bloom and flora back there very very pretty collection i really like them i regret a lot not getting flora and aisha when they were in stores but i'm glad that i got flora afterwards um here i'm glad that i eventually got flora is what i mean um here is sirenix underwater by jack specific really cool underrated line i don't hear a lot of people talk about mostly because i think the distribution was kind of lacking on this one but I have Bloom, Stella, and Musa. That is the whole collection. I was It was really, really cool to see Musa included in this one. And these ones are a special thanks to my dad because he bought them for me because I wouldn't buy them. And he was like, you're going to regret not buying those. And he was right. I definitely would have. Uh, and I'm really, really glad that I have them. And it was just a really special day that I got them. I remember it really well. And then here is WC Sparkling Light Serenix Bloom. She lights up and is just a really, really cool special doll. Um, but she's turned off right now, so I'm not going to turn her sounds on. All right, here we have my display of World of Winx dolls. I don't want to get the name wrong right now because I, I've been setting these up all day. I'm very tired, so I will insert them in post, hopefully. Um, so here we have, for one line, we have Aisha, Bloom, Musa, Stella, Flora, and Tecna. They're all really, really cool. They're kind of their casual outfits from uh, World of Winx. And then over here we have Tecna, Stella, Aisha, Musa, and Flora from the other line, which is like their... I don't remember when they wear these. Um, just their like dressy outfits and they look super, super cute. I don't have bloom from the dress line. And then down here, let me zoom out. I have my picnic Flora who was a gift from Vinnie Winks and I will never forget that. That was the first time somebody sent me a gift as a result of my YouTube channel and it just, it still means just as much today as it did back then, but it was just a really, really cool thing. and. It made me feel really, really special, and she's gorgeous, so there's Picnic Flora. And then Beach Stella is next to her, who I bought, and I love that doll so much, so I wanted her on display somewhere. I know they don't really fit with these dolls, but there was a blank space that needed filling, and I really, really wanted them on display somewhere because uh, Flora means a lot to me, and Stella is just such a special, beautiful doll. So, yeah, that's why they're there. 
All right, moving over. Sorry, this can be a little bit awkward for a second. This is my like season four old witty area. Um, so I have concert, which isn't technically season four, but it was around that time. So I have Stella, Bloom, and Musa there. I do have Flora, but she's actually that ball gown Flora right there. I didn't really like the Princess Flora's face, so I used Concert Flora's face because it's just one of the most beautiful wing faces I've actually ever seen. So Concert Flora is not here, unfortunately. I'm sorry, girlfriend. So if, ever, if you ever find a nude Concert Flora for a good price, like link me to her because uh, Princess Flora is not going to budge. <laughs> and then in the back, I have Love and Pet. Sorry, I was adjusting some things. So I have... Uh, Aisha, Musa, Stella, Tecna, Flora, and Bloom, so I have the whole line. And I do have all their pets, but I couldn't find them in time for this video, so I have uh, Fifi, Millie, uh, Pepe, not Pepe, oh my gosh, Chico, and Belle. Pepe and Coco are missing, and I hope to find them soon. <laughs> and then right here, ooh, too much light, um, are City Girl Musa, and I love my pet Roxy. Uh, just because they didn't really have another place and these are just two really really cool dolls so I didn't want them just not on display <laughs> all right moving up to this first shelf we have Believix by Jack Specific which is just such a cool and special line it was the first line by Jax that I completed other than good versus evil enchantix technically but that doesn't really count as completing a line because they all come together um, and these dolls are super super cool so I'm gonna start over here so this is Believix Flora I got her from a thrift store recently and it was a really really cool find and she is the perfect Believe Explora. I never knew that she existed. Uh, I have disliked all of my Believe Explorers in the past because they have been in such a garbage condition but now I have the epitome of Believe Explora right there. She's gorgeous and now I don't hate Believe Explora so yay. <laughs> and then Musa right here who I got from an eBay lot. She's really really cool. Now I actually have two but for a while like I had never seen another one or found another one so she it was really really special that my mom bought that for me as a present. We found the six Jack Specific Believix dolls out of box with some concert outfits for like a hundred dollars back in like 2013, 2014 I think and I got them for Christmas and it was so special. Uh, so thank you to my mom for that, because I would still probably be trying to complete Believix to this day, had that not happened. <laughs> and then here is Stella Believix. I think this is my original one, who I bought in box at Walmart on clearance. Here is Sofix Bloom. She's here because I ran out of space in my Sofix display, and she's just super, super beautiful. So she's up front and center with Roxy right here, who is a custom doll that I made. I rerouted her. She is actually Believix Power Musa, and she's wearing the witty Believix Roxy outfit. So yeah, I'm hoping to make her one, but for now, she's wearing that one. Here is um, Believix Aisha, who, as you guys remember, I broke her wing, so she is wearing an extra wing that I got recently backwards because, unfortunately, it was I did not get an extra of the wing that broke. I got an extra of the wing she already had in fine condition. Uh, and she was also from the eBay lot that I got Musa in, and I still have not found a double of her yet, so, well, except that one. So that was a really cool and lucky find. Here's Tecna, who is definitely one of my most special moments in like finding these dolls in stores. I had been looking for her since I started collecting and it took me a while. So she's really, really beautiful and I was so, so glad to have her. She's actually underwhelming compared to what I had like built her up in my head to be and she's definitely not one of my favorite Winx dolls appearance-wise, but I still value her so much and I'm really, really thankful that I got her. And then this Believix Bloom is not my original Believix Bloom, it's not my second or third or fourth or fifth. This is just a random one that I ended up with. I don't even remember from where. I do remember where I got all of mine, but I don't remember which one came from where, because I have so many. Um, but she's just gorgeous. I curled her hair and everything, and I just think she looks stunning, and I really, really love her right here. Her wings are also in better condition than all of mine, so... Yeah, she's just happily making do right here. She has infiltrated the Believix display. <laughs> Okay, here is City by Jack Specific. Bloom is missing a hand, but I kind of hid her hand behind Flora. So if you're looking from this angle, it looks fine. Um, so here's Bloom and Flora. These were a emerging channel line, meaning you could only get them at like Walgreens type stores. So I never found them, unfortunately. The only one I found in stores was Beach Bloom. Uh, the, the only one I'm missing from this line is Stella. And I'm hoping to find her soon. And over here is Urban Style. I only have two of them, but I would be very interested in getting the rest of the line because I love these two dolls a very strange amount considering they're kind of plain and random, but I just think they're so gorgeous. Um, I don't know why. They're just really, really cool to me and I really like them, so 
yeah, hoping to complete that line someday. I haven't really ever seen them for sale anywhere convenient, especially not used, so who knows? It's always a mystery with doll collecting. Alright, here are my boxed Tecna, Aisha, and Stella Believix that I got recently for $25 each at a toy resale shop, and yeah, I really, really like them. I think it's really cool, and I like that I have some inbox normal release dolls, because most of my inbox dolls are either like special gimmick dolls that I just never felt like opening, or Comic-Con dolls. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really cool to have these, and just these dolls are super special and iconic to me, because... This was when I was collecting them, was when these guys were on the shelves, and it's super cool. Also, I never saw Aisha Believix on the shelves, so pretty neat. I wish I could go in there and steal one of her wings, though. <laughs> okay, so here we have my Dreamix dolls. They are so beautiful. Here is... I'm really, really thankful that I could collect this whole line, and it is thanks to my friend Disney Descender, who sold me the three that I did not get when they came out. So here is Tecna, Aisha, Bloom... Musa, Flora, and Stella. Such a beautiful collection of dolls, and their wings just look great right now with this flashlight I have on them. And then here is Blue Mix by Jax. I got all six of them at the same time. My dad bought them for me, and then I had to work for them, but I ended up not working for them, so he just gave them to me like a year later. Uh, but I love them so, so much, and they mean a lot to me, because they were all presents from my dad, uh, except Tecna, I did buy her immediately. So here's Bloom, Tecna, Musa, Stella, Flora, and Ayusha. Really, really cool dolls. And then right here I have my, uh, these were part of the like Jack Specific Nickelodeon reign of Winx in America. So they're Believix Bloom and Flora's wings. I'm not sure what company produced them or anything, but yeah, I have two pairs of Bloom's wings and they only made Bloom, Stella, and Flora. So all I need is Stella now. So that's kind of cool. I found them at Goodwill for $2 each. Up here is my next row that we're going to be going over. So, for starters, here is Butterflix, and I have Aisha, Butterflix Magic Flora, Musa, I think someone's picking up our trash. Uh, this is a custom Roxy made by Disney Descender, and he, she's actually the city style, or city girl Roxy, so I kind of have her. And she's also wearing Tecna's uh, Butterflix dress, who is the only Butterflix doll that I'm missing, so I kind of have both of them. Just kidding, but that is a really, really special custom doll, and she was made by my best doll friend, Disney Descender, so she's just really, really special, and I, she means a lot to me, so yeah. I talk about her in a lot of videos, so you can learn more about her in other ones. Here is Bloom Butterflix and Stella Butterflix over here. And then I'm going to move over here, which is Sofix, Lovix, and uh, China Believix. I just kind of put some overflow over here. So I have Tecna, Aisha, and Musa, China exclusive Believix. Musa is super special because she actually got featured on the official Wings Club Instagram page. Uh, I was the featured fan for I think May of 2017 because of a picture of that doll that I took, which was so cool. And then over here, sorry, I can't hold the camera that well, it's really heavy. Um, we have Stella, Bloom, Flora, and Tecna Sofix, who I got from Cartoon Boy 77 Huge shout out to him, and thank you for selling them to me because I love them so, so much. I actually set up the shelf above the door because I really wanted a place to put them. That was special. Um, and then back there, I have my Lovix by um, Woody Toys. They are all China exclusive with this new face, and this is the whole set of them. So I have Bloom, Stella, Musa, and Flora. They're a really, really cool line, and they're all so super pretty, so I like that they're front and centered. I think Flora looks so cute up there in the corner like that. I don't know. All right. Moving back over here, we have Harmonix by Jack Specific. And SOS, I lost Aisha's crown. I moved, and I still have not found it, and I'm freaking out about it. She was my first Wings doll, and she means the world to me. Um, but over there is Bloom, Harmonix, Jack Specific, or yeah, Jack Specific, obviously. Um, Harmonix, Aisha, without her crown. Tecna and Musa harmonics, which are made to mimic the Jack specific prototypes, but those dolls were never produced, so I made customs of them. So there's Tecna and Musa. Stella and Flora are right here, and that is the full set. Now I have all six, which is kind of cool. Um, here is Good vs. Evil by Jax. Um, this is the entire Enchantic set that Jack specific made, unfortunately. So I have Flora, Stella, and Bloom right here. And then these are my China exclusive um, Woody Toys dolls. Of Enchantix, so these ones were the only were only released in China, uh, but the rest were released normally. Um, so there's Tecna, and Musa's behind her. 
Right here are my Glam Magic Enchantix dolls. These are the only two I have so far, but I love them so much. They're really cool. So I have Bloom and Aisha. Yeah. And then here we have uh, Sing and Sparkle Mattel Enchantix. So we have Aisha, who is so, so pretty. Flora, Bloom, and Stella. All of these dolls are just really, really pretty, and I love the like unique metallic twist they did to the Enchantix outfits. I just think that's a really cool line that I don't ever hear about. In fact, when I got them, I didn't even know like where they came from or who they were, because I'd never seen them before. All right, moving up, we have my um, original release, Jochi Preciosi, Italian Charmix, or these aren't Charmix, these are Magic Winx dolls, so I have Tecna and Stella. Right here, we have my witty... Uh, Charmix slash I think it's called Charmix on the boxes but they're just magic wings set so this is a new one like a new witty one and then I have three old witty ones and then I have two China exclusive ones which are new witty so this one is velcro wings so I'm not really sure where that places her temporally but she's pretty cool uh, and then Ayusha Stella and Te uh, Bloom who came from the lovely Cartoon Boy 77 who sold me the Sofix dolls they're really really cute and I love them a lot um, and they also have the velcro wings but they have the old faces and then here are Tecna and Musa. They are China exclusive dolls, and I like them a lot. And Tecna did not come with that hat. She's actually wearing poor, poor, uh, not, yeah, season one Tecna's hat. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop the video for a second and then come back because my arm is killing me because I'm holding this laptop really high up. So, uh, yeah. So here we have Charmix, Stella, Bloom, and Flora by Jack Specific. Uh, they look a little bit under-impressive next to the other way better done lines, but they're still really, really cool dolls. And I think if they weren't Charmix dolls, they would look stellar. <laughs> and then here we have Mythics. I only have Techno Bloom and Stella so far, but I feel like I would have more space if I scooted some of these ladies over if I got the rest. If, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to, but they're so gorgeous. Um, and then I have Dark Sirenic. So I have Darcy, who was a gift from Winxer B, which means the world to me, and that is just such a special, cool doll. And I really appreciate the gesture. And then we have Dark Sirenix, sorry, Stormy. I'm holding it above my head now, so it's a little bit tricky. Dark Sirenix Stormy, who I got a long time ago as a Christmas present for my dad. And then here is Sirenix, who were, I guess, presents for my grandma because she gave me spending money for Christmas. And I immediately went to the store and found all of these lovely ladies. So we have Stella, Aisha, Bloom, Musa, Flora, and Tecna. And then that's kind of the level that these ladies are on. Uh, Sirenix is a really cool line. I used to hate on it a lot for no reason, but I think it's actually really, really cool and special. And then finally, this is way above my head, so hopefully you guys can see, we have Season 1 and Pixie Magic on this side. So Musa and Tecna are Season 1 dolls, and Tecna's not wearing a helmet because it's right there on the China exclusive one. And then I have Pixie Magic, Stella, and Aisha, who are um, the ones that Amore and Piff go to from earlier. And then we have Icy from season one. And then right here is the Charmix collection. They're not wearing their charms, so I don't lose them. Uh, and I have Bloom, Flora, Ayusha, Musa, Tecna, and Stella. So yeah, I did it. Let me make sure I got them. There's another shot. All right, so yeah, that is my entire Winx Club collection display, but don't end the video just yet if you want to see the rest of my collection, because a lot of my favorite, or not my favorite, but a lot of really cool dolls are not shown yet because I just did not have room to display them. I'm hoping that I can either put more shelves up or figure out a solution. If I had more doll stands, I definitely could fit more dolls because um, it's a lot harder when you just balance them. <sighs> like Sirenix there, I could definitely condense that if I had more doll stands. And I could fit more up there with Mattel, uh, like move some of the Enchantix dolls up there, but for now it's just those guys because I didn't need any more space. Um, but yeah, that's everybody. So yeah, stay tuned for the next part. All right, so here are my inbox dolls. Here's Daphne, who was a gift for my mom when she was being sold on the Toys R Us website. Here is Blue Harmonics Bloom, who I just recently got from a thrift store, which was a crazy cool find. She actually still has her $18 price tag on her. Here is number 456 of 510, Silver Blue Bloom, a birthday present from my dad, when around when season five came out, I think. Um, here is Blue Bluevix Bloom, who is number 335, another present from my dad. As soon as he heard I started collecting wings, he bought her for me, which was really cool. And here is Magic Wings Bloom, who I just never bothered to open. Gift from my dad. Alright, so in this bin are extras, doubles, and ones that didn't fit on display. So yeah, let's get started. So here we have Season 6 Icy. And next up we have um, Princess Flora. Um, this is Halloween's Bloom's outfit on a Mattel Bloom doll. This is Speedix Stella. 
Sky from the Sofix 2 pack. That is my extra, or that's Believix Techno, but she is on a different Techno's body. I don't remember which one. It's either I love my pet or love and pet. It's just because I have the first edition and I don't really like the face as much. This is Believix Aisha. Uh, her face was really wonky. This is Color Magic Flora, and I kind of demonstrate, but you can't hear the noise, unfortunately. But such a cute doll. I really, really like her. Even though she's not the cutest, but really fun. Uh, this is my Good vs. Evil Icy, my original one. She's kind of in trash condition. That's why she's not on display. My extra Sirenix Flora that I got from uh, Savers. This is a witty first edition bloom, and I kind of prefer the second edition, but this one's in beautiful shape and she's a pretty doll. There's my Musa first edition witty toys doll. Uh, one of my extra Believix blooms. Missing one of her shoes and socks, but I know I have them. They're just separated. Another <laughs> Believix bloom doll. I have a problem. This one was actually my second Believix Bloom doll, who I got from my dad with blue Believix Bloom. This is Tiny's Bloom. She's only not on display because I can't find her wings, I'm gonna be honest. I'm moving right now, so it's hard. Um, Witty Believix Flora. Um, all these Witty- uh, most of these Witty dolls I got from my friend Doll.Boy on Instagram's childhood collection, so that's kinda cool. This Stella's from there, she's missing an arm. Uh, this is Beach Flora, my most recent doll, or Wings doll. Um, next up are my beheaded Joki Preciosi dolls. There's Disco Tecna and Ball Gown Bloom, who is absolutely gorgeous. I really wish her head was still attached. I bought them from Disney Descenders Childhood, or not Childhood, just Collection. This is Flower Princess, Flower Power something for, by Witty. Flora, I got her at an American Thrift Store. This is uh, my first uh, Winx present from Disney Descender, which was so cool. She He sent her to me when I bought uh, my, the Butterflix dolls. This doll I got from an American thrift store. Pretty cool. Don't know her name. This is Joki Preciosi Ball Gown Tecna. Absolutely gorgeous doll. Really, really love her. Wish I had space on display for her. I love my pet Stella from Doll Dot Boys Childhood Collection. Bloom, Musa, Flora, and then uh, Tecna is just not wearing her outfit, but I have it. This is Harmonix Flora, who is really, really cool. Um, Roxy, she's just not wearing her outfit because my Jack Specific custom is. I'm hoping to make her into a different custom or make my Jack Specific doll her own outfit. This is my original Believe Explorer, who I got at a antique mall, so she's in really bad condition. Um, just an extra good receivable. I see my first Believe Explorer ever, trashed condition, wearing a concert outfit. Uh, that was just an extra Believe Explorer, extra Believe Stella, extra Believe Explorer, whose hair I cut. Regret. <laughs> this is. Uh, Stella's Design Studio, Stella, extra Harmonix Bloom that I just restored in a recent video. Really, really pretty. Um, I love my pet Aisha. This is a really trash Flora concert. Uh, that's Techno Believix, but in the concert outfit, that was uh, Bloom Enchantix. I love Dance Aisha. Um, this is Dance Night Flora and uh, Season 1 Flora, or Pixie Magic. Um, season or First edition Techno Believix. This is I Love Dance Flora, missing a Arm, I love dance bloom. That was an arm, and I love dance musa. And I think that is the last one, so yeah, pretty cool. These guys are not any less special, it's just that I am out of space. All right, so these next dolls are separated because they smell like cigarettes, because I got them from a house full of cigarettes. I have a video on that from a while back. And this is all of them, um, but the next clip are the ones that I haven't customized or done anything with yet. Um, so yeah. Mix Aisha, um, Sirenix Flora right here, and uh, Enchantix Flora, um, Believix Bloom, a Believix Stella, Believix Aisha, um, Enchantix Bloom from Good vs. Evil, there's Charmix Bloom. Uh, Bloom X Bloom. She has her wings, which I will show in a second. Uh, Siren X Bloom. Her leg isn't broken, so I might I might switch mine with that one. This is Pink Enchantix Bloom. Stella uh, Enchantix. Uh, Sky from the two-pack. Sofix. Uh, that's Tecna. I ruined her outfit, unfortunately. That was not the kid that owned her previously. Believe power, Tecna's outfit. That is my... Uh, that is Siren X Tecna. A bunch of extra wings. So, I'm just showing the wings. What I was saying earlier was that the Believix and Believix Power Tecna- Believix Misa and Believix Power Tecna outfits are there because the dolls from this lot 
that I are the ones that I used for my harmonics customs that I showed recently. Uh, there's Bloom Stella, beautiful doll. I'm going to be using her for a custom for sure because I absolutely love her bangs. Uh, some more extra wings. They're all being treated because they smell like cigarettes. There's a uh, Sophix Bloom, Aisha Concert, uh, Sirenix Underwater Bloom. I don't remember that one's name, so I sit there dwelling on her for a while, but um, she's that spinning transformation bloom. I have her in box, though. Um, there's City Style Stella, Flora Bleavix, and yeah, that's all of them. All right, so that is the end of my five-year Winx Club doll collection video. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If it's your first video of mine, hi! Um, subscribe so you can see more. I make videos about my Winx dolls and all my other doll collections all the time. Um, I try to upload at least three or four times a week, so yeah, it's fun. Or if you've been here uh, for a week, a month, a year, a few days, five years, however long, it means the world to me. My YouTube channel is one of my favorite things. It makes me really happy. I love being able to just come on and respond to you guys' comments or Instagram messages or just read the comments. Um, it just really warms my heart and it makes me so, so happy to have this platform because I love talking about dolls, but there usually people don't have a lot of people in real life to talk about their dolls with. I certainly don't. Um, although the people that I do have in my real life are really supportive and not like cruel about it or anything, but they don't want to hear me gush for like 30 minutes about how much I love Silver Bleedix Bloom. But you guys eat that up and love it and it's really, really cool because I want to gush about Silver Bleedix Bloom for 30 minutes. You feel? Anyway, that being said, again, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and, um, in the comments below, let me know how big your Wingstall collection is, if you have one. If you don't, maybe you can start. It took me five years to get this many dolls, and I did. I was able to accumulate quite a few. It's because I have the awesome support of uh, my boyfriend, my parents, uh, friends. I've been gifted a lot of these by family members. Um, I also have had several jobs that I've used almost all of the income on these dolls. Um, they mean a lot to me, and I love them so, so, so much. Um, so yeah, and if you go back on my YouTube channel, I still left a lot of my original videos up. Um, you can see how my collection started. I think my first collection video that I made, I had uh, 14 Winx dolls, and I reposted it recently, actually, so you can see that. It's called, like, how my Winx Club collection started, I think. Um, so hang in there. Even if you only have one Winx doll, hey, I started with one, too, and now I have this many. So whether you want to have a collection of, like, 20 Winx dolls or if you want to have a collection of 246, that's how many I have. Um, you'll get there. Um, it, it obviously takes time, unless you just so happen to buy from an insane collector like me who has 246 of them, which pretty rare. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, for real this time, and let me know if you guys want to see a collection of my Winx figures. I have five of them. Five of them. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where I was going with that. I have 58 of them. Um, including my Kinder figures from Europe, and my Jack Specific minifigures, and my McDonald's ones, and some bootlegs. Um, I think that would be a fun video, but I didn't want to include it in this one because they're kind of not on display, and this video is already insanely long, and they're not necessarily dolls. They're kind of their own thing, and they're pretty cool for that. Um, so yeah, bye guys!